Hi guys, so I called this video the motivational video. I'm not really sure if it can be classified as a motivational video. Um, I'd say it's more to give hope to some of you out there. Uh, at least I think it might give you hope. It's something that I definitely wish someone had told me years ago. Anyway, to get to the topic, uh, if you hear weird voices, it's my Is there? It's all there. Anyway, so if you're alternative or generally look weird, you probably have heard many times from your friends, colleagues, or well, not really colleagues right now, but you know, friends, family, etc. That looking like this, you'll never get a job. No one will like you. No one will ever fall in love with you. Well, that, my friends, is bullshit, and that's why I'm making this video. Tell you why it's bullshit. Let's start off easy. When it comes to friends, I mean, come on, let's be honest here. If someone is your friend, they will your friends for what you've got here in your head, for the kind of here in your heart, for the kind of person that you are. Honestly, if someone judges you and wants to be friends with you based on the way you look, that person will definitely be a shitty friend because that person will never be there for you, like never. And that is someone you should not be friends with. So although people might judge you and might not want to be friends with you because of the way you look like sometimes, don't worry. Those people would be shitty friends anyway, and let them be shitty friends to other people, not you. But trust me, there will be people out there who will want to be friends with you. To be honest, I have only one friend who is alternative, or at least one closer friend. Uh, her name is Martha, and she's a darling. But uh, she's like literally the only alternative friend I have. I also have a boyfriend who's kind of like, but at least when it comes to the look, a bit more metal-ish. But that's exactly where my line of alternative friends and most of my friends are normal people. So, you'll find someone. Don't worry. Next up, couples. I mean, boyfriends, girlfriends, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna tell you this much. If some, the same as with friends, basically. If someone is with you, just because they find you attractive, or just because they think you're pretty or handsome, they are not with your time because a boyfriend or a girlfriend or a potential husband or wife will be someone you want to spend a lot more time with and someone who should be your friend as well, not only a lover. And if you'll be with someone who only is with you for your looks, that person is going to be a shitty boyfriend or a shitty girlfriend. Like, you don't want to be with someone who is with you based on the way you look like. So. Trust me, you don't want those sorts of people in your life as friends or partners or as anything. And as I mentioned before, I have a boyfriend, which means that you can look like this and still have a boyfriend or girlfriend, whatever you prefer. So I wouldn't be that worried. I mean, there will be people who be alternative and like you, I mean, have a crush on you because you're an alternative. But then if, for instance, you have a crush on someone who isn't alternative, then that's fine too. And maybe they'll find you attractive too. I mean, that's the whole point, right? If someone is with you, friends, not friends, just go away, cat. Based on the way you look like, that someone's clearly not worth it. And yeah, sure, it's important to be attractive to your partner, but that's not where it ends, okay? Being a someone's something much more than attractiveness. Being with someone is talking, it's being friends, it's spending time together, doing things together, and Sure, you are supposed to be attractive for each other, but one, someone might find you attractive you know, if you look alternatively different, and two, if someone wants only your attractiveness, they're not worth it. Give them up. And the third thing that I want to talk about today is finding a job. Now, this is, I think, the part that I have had the most problem with in my whole life, because I've never had problems with people judging me when it comes to friends and when it comes to. Well, I had one boyfriend who said that I could be his girlfriend if I looked different, but that's a whole different story. <laughs> the part that bothered me most of my life the most is finding a job. Now I'll tell you this, do not, I repeat, do not listen to people who will tell you that you will never get a job if you look different. Yes, there are some jobs that you will probably not be able to get when looking a certain type. Uh, there are jobs, I know you probably won't be able to be a politician or someone of, you know, higher rank, let's say. But there are a couple of easy ways to work through this, I'm not going to tell you how. When it comes to tattoos, uh, the thing that I suggest you do, if you like, want to have tattoos for instance, but you don't really care where you have those tattoos, you just want to have tattoos, I suggest doing your legs, especially if you're a girl, because uh, legs are 
super easy to cover and you can get a great job even as a politician or lawyer or anything and no one will ever know because you can wear either long trousers in the summer when it's hot you can wear long skirts to work so when no one will notice I mean if you like long skirts I sorry my cat just sneezed I personally adore long skirts so for me it's not a problem but there's always something you can do so uh, honestly when it comes to jobs and tattoos literally the only parts of your body you shouldn't tattoo if you want to get any kind of job like any kind of job is the face and the arms like you could and of course the neck you can literally tattoo all of your body apart from that because no one will know and as long as no one knows that was my cat again you can still get a job so that's for people with tattoos don't worry uh, of course I know that in different countries things will differ in different countries uh, people will hire you with tattoos or people might not hire you with tattoos I know it will be different and the same goes for everything I'm gonna say after this but just say when it comes to hair like I have blue hair and guess what I have had jobs oh, blue hair uh, first thing off you can give tutor lessons that's what I did and that's actually a great way uh, if you're a student or something and you don't have to have a full-time job yet so giving tutor lessons is awesome and most people if you are qualified won't even look at your hair the second kind of job or mostly jobs that you can have if you have different hair is cool things or things to do with children to be honest I mean you can work at a kindergarten and kids will adore your hair and when it comes to higher ranks of education I think <laughs> like high school for instance then um, there will be high schools that can hire you and high schools that will not hire you. Uh, there can be a headmaster at a certain high school that as long as you are certainly qualified will hire you uh, even though you have blue hair. And then there will be those high schools who will not hire you. So when it comes to the more social things there are places where you can still be hired looking like this. I mean having blue hair. Not necessarily looking like this. Uh, just I want to stress one thing out. The things that I'm saying right now when it comes to jobs are the jobs that need socializing. So if you work at home or um, if you, you know, do something without much contact with people, then you shouldn't really worry about those things. I'm talking about jobs like being a teacher or psychologist or, or doctor or anything. Yeah, there are two kinds of jobs though that I just want to stress out you really never have to worry about and that's one being an artist, any sort of artist, makeup artist, um, hair artist, uh, I don't know, anything. When you're an artist nobody cares how you look like and you look like anything and the other thing, this might sound weird, but when you're a scientist or when you work with at the morgue then no one cares then, literally no one cares about the way you look like as long as you're qualified. And the last part is makeup and clothes. Now, this can be problematic. Uh, I don't think there are a lot of socializing jobs uh, that will wear you let that will let you wear panda makeup, for instance. Uh, I mean, they might let you keep the eyes only less dramatic, but lips, for instance, I doubt that. So, when it comes to the makeup, I think if you want to have a normal job normal socializing job I think you'll have to say goodbye to that unfortunately although as I mentioned things differ different countries and different stuff uh, and when it comes to clothing I think you can pull your clothing I mean pull it off not your clothing pull it off uh, in a lot of different jobs as long as it's just the clothing clothing for instance I can literally not for life talk today I am so sorry about that I'm just, ah, uh, no idea what's going on with me. Anyway, just want to give you some of you guys hope that just because you look different doesn't mean you won't have friends or you won't have a boyfriend or girlfriend or you even won't have a job. You will. I've had them. Many other people had them. And I'm not even talking about the normal alternative jobs like working at the morgue or being an alternative model, etc., etc. Because, yeah, those are the things that alternative people go for and it's easy to be alternative in these kind of things. I'm talking about the more normal jobs because, come on, let's be honest, there are a lot of us weirdos out there who want to have normal jobs. There are a lot of us who want to be doctors, there are a lot of us who want to be teachers, there are a lot of us who want to be vets, 
Bats are technically still doctors, but you get my point. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that it gave you some hope in life if you're alternative. And I hope to see you soon because I love you. Bye bye. I don't see want to see the kid. No, the kid could just went away. You shall not see the kid get this video. Mm. Bye.